All right, what is going on everyone? Wade here. Today we're going to go over the four move checkmate. Okay, so the four move checkmate is winning the game in four moves. We'll go over it real quick. They move their pawn forward, opening up the bishop and the queen. Black replies with pawn forward. And the queen may come out here or here. The bishop comes out over here. So black plays their second move. White brings their queen over. And if black's not careful, then the queen and the bishop actually work together for checkmate. This can also happen when the queen comes over here because it still hits that pawn for the checkmate. So if black's not careful, they'll lose in four moves. The basic pattern you want to be looking out for here is the bishop and the queen working together to hit this one pawn here next to the king. When it comes in, the king has nowhere to go because it's trapped by all its pieces and the queen is supported by the bishop. To defend against the four move checkmate, e4, e5, queen to h5, knight comes out, bishop to c4, and the pawn is under attack. There's two ways to defend. You could bring your knight out here, or you could bring your pawn out here, blocking the queen to the pawn next to the king. The knight here defends the pawn as well. You need to watch out for white pushing their pawn up because then their bishop can come through, take the knight, we capture back, and then the queen comes in for checkmate again. So it's very important that you understand the four move checkmate not so much that you should play it, but rather that you can defend against it. Because at the lower levels, you're gonna have a lot of people attempting to do the four move checkmate on you. So let's quickly talk about how to defend. They play e4, we play e5. They play queen to h5. We develop our knight to defend the pawn. They play bishop to c4. They've got two pieces attacking the pawn, and we need to defend against it. So we know there are two options. We can bring the knight here, or we can push the pawn here, attacking the queen. The queen has to retreat, goes back. And as you may notice before, when we mentioned the queen can come here for the form of checkmate, it's still the case now. So we need to defend against that again. And this time we can push the knight in front. Now. The problem with the four move checkmate is white has already brought out their queen several times, moved it around while we are focusing on development. So now we just want to complete our development. We just want to push our bishop in here to protect the knight and castle. And we've got a nice solid development. The queen out here is actually blocking the knight from getting to a good square. So white is already behind. That's why we shouldn't play the four move checkmate. We should more focus around good opening principles and getting into a proper game. When you look at the four move checkmate, it actually is a very easy way to win and gain rating points from lower rated players. However, the downside is you miss out on actually playing good proper games and getting experience that you need. So keep in mind the four move checkmate, don't play it for yourself, let other people play it and win when they play against you. So just to recap, queen comes out, attacks the pawn, defend the pawn, the bishop comes out, block the queen, the queen goes back. We already have two minor pieces out, they have one minor piece out, and we're almost ready to castle by bringing our bishop in to Fianchetto, and they have this queen that is kind of hanging around doing nothing. So right now I would much prefer to be black in this position rather than white. Let me know how you go, and good luck with it.